Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. I am sitting out in my hay field right now, waiting for Jason to come pick me up. So he passed his check ride. So he's just north right now. Where is she going? Yep. There he is. Whew. Just cut the hay, so he was a little worried about landing. And I think he, I can't, I don't know if he chose right in between or what, but he's right in between the wind rows right now. You made it. I made it and I saved the hay. <laughs> Where'd you, did you land in between or? I straddled it and then I just carried the tail. Nice, yeah, it looked good. Is we just got a new camera and um, hopefully this actually looks good and hears good and sounds good. Hears good doesn't, isn't word. But Jason is gonna take us, take me flying as a passenger. He's a full pilot. Like, how cool is that? So you're gonna have to tell everybody the whole process from start beginning, <laughs> what you thought, what, how to go. So there I was, I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watched his YouTube videos, got addicted to planes, bought a plane, never even flew a plane. Yeah. He flew it back. That's right. And kind of taught me how to fly, and then turned me over to the CFI. Think so. A year and like a month since I bought the plane. Since you bought the plane, yeah. Uh, and within five hours of the instructor, I was soloed on a grass strip. Last week I flew to Coeur d'Alene, which was an adventure in its own. So Coeur d'Alene from here is across the mountains in Idaho, which is just gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. So it, we basically threw Jason into the like the pit of death for your first like <laughs> cross country. Like it's it's gnarly going back there. And for somebody that's not familiar with flying, I mean, my uncle actually, when he flew out and he's got tons of hours, he was like, hey, what do I do when I get to the mountains? I'm like, uh, you just fly over them? <laughs> but for Jason to go and do that over in Coeur d'Alene, that was a mission in itself. Beautiful country, just nowhere to land. Yep, stayed the night in Coeur d'Alene. Next morning did the check ride. Expected it to be two days. In an hour and 45 minutes, I was done with my the verbal. verbal and the flight portion of it. The last time I could come in, he's all, all right, I wanna see the shortest landing you can do. And I come in and like two lengths of the plane land it. He's all, you know how to fly, go back to the hangar. You pass, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> uh, it is so cool, guys, when you get that pilot's license. Uh, it's such a mission. It's huge. Like the whole process of, you know, a lot of people don't do it. It's just because it is hard and it takes a lot of dedication. So, but if you guys, Jason did it, so you guys can do it. If you're thinking about doing it, you just gotta be dedicated and go all in. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool, so we got a strip that we're gonna go to that I've never actually landed at. Jason hasn't landed at, so that's gonna be an experience. We're gonna maybe go check out a reservoir and land on the beach. I don't know. We're gonna go check it out though. Let's get in and go. I'm jumping in the back seat. We are alive. She's a roaring. I'll taxi down here and try not to run over any hay. Yep, precious hay. Don't squish it down. Yeah, this will be a nice takeoff. I won't say that just yet. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Hey, Jill, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you. We just departed uh, down the business we're heading uh, towards the field. Oh, okay. All right, so now we are trying to find Tony's place. Tony has an airstrip uh, kind of near us. We got probably 10 minute flight. Yeah, we're, uh, our ground speed's real high, 60. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got a really nice headwind, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so maybe, maybe a little bit longer for us to get there. I'm gonna climb up to 58, level her out, kind of coast along. Is that the right altitude to be cruising at? Uh, what about the 40s? No, we need to be at 6. <laughs> you got me. I got him! I got him! <laughs> I'm gonna go the distance, I'll see you on the other side. I've worked my knuckles to the bone, and I've swallowed all my pride. Tried and failed some, but today I'm on my game. And by the time the curtains 
fall You're gonna know my name yeah, no, really nothing with the wind direction You guys got a copy on me? Oh Yeah, where you at? I'm on the ground out here in the middle of nowhere Just off to the, oh, I don't know, east side of that bank Right there Nope Got you. I'm right at your uh, five o'clock, up at about 5,700. Did you just land on the west side of that little gravel spot? Yeah, just right here, right on. The, um, yeah, just on the, the, the west side of it. I guess we're gonna go try to find Tony's, and then uh, we'll come back and play. Okay, I'll follow you over there. See if I can find you. So I don't know why I'm not finding you. I can't see you anywhere. Yo, maybe just there you are. You're way lower. the hell up there. <laughs> so you guys might remember Tony. Tony was the guy that had the little Avid when I was teaching Jason how to fly. Uh, designed by the same guy who who originally designed the early kit Fox. Uh, he has a little airstrip out here. I have never landed there. I've never seen it. So. This will be interesting. It's 1,500 feet long, so I think Jason should be just fine landing there. But if you don't feel comfortable, I'll just do a go around. Yeah, do a go around. I mean, I'm not going to save a bad landing. I'm not landing somewhere that's going to hurt me or my plane. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? We got you, Tony. Okay, I see you. You're headed right for me. All right, we will uh, try to locate your strip and uh, assess it. And probably we'll have Joel land first. Okay, wind is about six or seven out of the southwest, so take the south approach. Don't use the extreme north end of the strip. It's a bit uh, bumpy right there. Roger that. Basically right where that green patch is. Is that okay to touch down right there? Fly over midfield here. Yep. You guys can make fun of me. I'm going long. Yeah, doing a long approach is always easier. It is. I think I, that's the one thing that'll mess people's landings up when they do short approaches, just because it's stuff happens so much faster. Yeah. There's a fence to our left too. That's a pretty cool strip. Nice. A oh. little bit of a bounce. It's okay. Yeah! Nice! I wonder if we're the only ones that... Ah, I'm sure he's had other people land here. How much did we bounce? About seven feet. <laughs> <laughs> About like that. <laughs> nice strip, Tony. This thing is beautiful. Tony has the Avid. You're working on it right now, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Some with the muffler. Two strokes and mufflers, they always break for me, for whatever reason. So are we the first ones to land here? No, we've had a few. Okay. Uh, my brother has a Taylor Craft, he's been here several times. So, Joel. so Tony's gonna go show us his uh, project that he's working on. So we're gonna go check that out real quick and then we'll be back and fly out of here. We'll show you guys his little place. Yeah, look at this. This Does this level out pretty good? The front and the middle, and then there's this spring-loaded mechanism. That kind of... So it... That, that middle blade lifts and drops according to the contour. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's that's... pretty sophisticated for 1925 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. Is that on the gopher hill? Oh, you need more leg room? No, I'm good. good. Pretty cool little road with the Russian olives. Love your signs. Now let's check this out. Oh, here it is. This is the Avid. Yeah. So you're working on, working on the muffler. So you chuck this on the trailer and then you drive it around. Yeah. And or you sometimes I'll haul it to the airport. And you'll store it right here. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little hanger. Look at that. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. Build it out of scrap metal and junk. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, be dang. This is the Kolb. Okay. I bought this last summer in Oregon as a project, so it'll be for sale when I'm done. It's pretty light. Well, cool place you have. Oh, you got goats? Hey, goats. Meh. <laughs> ah, ah.
Ren! I thought about getting goats and putting them on our lawn because I hate mowing lawn. Well, Sylvia mows the lawn, but it's like if you could put uh, one of those electric collars that they use for dogs, so they have a perimeter, then you never have to mow your lawn. Goat just does it. We might try that one day, I don't know. All right, we're gonna head back and go check out some more cool stuff. Let's see if it'll go. Because it hasn't run since spring. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta get in that, and see. That would be rough to... It's a 1939. Wow. Well, thanks, Tony, for uh, letting us land at your strip and showing us your your place. Hopefully this goat furrow's off. All right, we're out of here. Joel's ready. Getting your vitamin D. Ah, this is so cool. All right, guys, we survived. Jason took me as a passenger. That's so cool. So if you're thinking about getting your pilot's license, definitely look into it. It's worth it. I'm so proud of him. It's such a big step to accomplish. So, so cool. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.